My dance is called Leave a Light On, and it's based on an experience I had over the summer where I had to leave a light on, or basically um, make sure that one of my friends was okay and that she wouldn't harm herself. And so this dance um, is a promise to her that I'll leave a light on for her um, whenever she needs help, but it's also a promise to my family, my friends, and my classmates that no matter where they are, um, if they're in trouble, I will take the time out of my day to leave a light on for them to help them out. And so my hope for the dancers in my piece is that they would take my choreography and my story and apply it to their lives and think about the people that they would leave a light on for. So dancers express emotions through their body, through their facial expressions, and then through the vocabulary that they're using. Um, I have seen dancers express things from um, deep personal loss to getting through obstacles, through um, some students have had like eating disorders and have created pieces based off of that. So the range of emotions is the human experience and da each dancer brings their own human experience to the creative process and how they choose to express themselves is really unique and individual. But the topics um, can be related to you know many different um, realms and different audiences and so the beautiful thing about it is this relationship between the artist and the audience and so the audience will feel something if the dancers are truly staying um, genuine and um, pure to their voice. So my dance starts off uh, very isolated in the beginning so there are about five people starting in the beginning and they each have their different solos and so that's supposed to portray um, each individual person's anxiety when finding out that somebody they know needs help. And so throughout the piece, um, people gradually become more and more in unison and finally at the end of the piece we're all dancing in a clump together to show the strength and power um, and love of people who come together and build a community to be there for others. I think art is very important to mental health because it allows individuals to express themselves in a variety of ways, whether it be music, whether it be dance, whether it be painting, sculpture. Um, it's a way for you to kind of bring your thoughts and what you feel in your mind outward without always having to use your voice. It also provides a voice for people who feel voiceless, which is oftentimes people who um, may have mental health issues or be struggling mentally. So I think it's very important to go hand in hand. Because this piece is so heavy um, and it has such a powerful message, I wanted to make sure that every single movement in that piece was doing the concept that I had um, justice. So dance specifically is an art form, I really believe is a cognitive and also a physical um, connection. So it is the mind-body connection. And for mental health, you know, the, the reward for all of these things that um, we generate within the studio, give dancers the space to be able to connect with their fellow dancers on an emotional level and also a physical level. Um, studies have shown that um, that ability to do both of those things, just as in music, heightens um, the mental health of the individual. So the concept of my piece is very general and it's just basically about like finding somebody who you care for and making sure that you leave a light on for them. Especially in this um, day and age, a lot of us know friends, family, or classmates who have mental health issues, and so it was very easy for the dancers to be able to connect um, to this concept. Sometimes kids will come into the room and say, oh, Ms. G, can I sit out today? I don't feel well. Um, and I always tell them, just dance. Just go in there. Even if you can't do it 100%, just go and dance. And Every single time they come out feeling better than when they walked into the room. They will say, oh, Ms. G, I do feel better. Like they're surprised. Mm -hmm. um, there is something that happens in the body. Um, your endorphins get released. Um, you start to feel part of the group. And you always feel better after you move. So I tell them, just give it a try. And they always do. And they always feel better. Yeah, I think ultimately, students need to feel that they are part of something bigger than themselves and dance allows that. Um, I have seen dance transform students' lives and I can kind of get emotional when I think about it. Um, 
through their expression of movement, I have seen students start in a really, really scary place. Um, but through their reflection on what dance and the community has given them, when they come out on the other side, it's a really beautiful thing. And so what we do here in the arts at Whitney Young, throughout the entire community, the arts are vital to um, the student as a whole, as a whole person, and for them to be able to express themselves in a way that they might not otherwise have.